Hello and welcome. Today we are learning about JSON, which stands for JavaScript Object Notation. Let's get started. Let's take a look at JSON, and that stands for JavaScript Object Notation. JSON is used to send and receive data. JSON is a text format and it is completely language independent, and that means JSON is used not just in JavaScript, but it's used to send and receive data in many languages, including C Sharp and Python and many more. We're usually sending data between, say, a web app and a server, for example. That's definitely what we'll do in JavaScript. And for the rest of this video, I'm just going to focus on JavaScript, even though JSON can be used in many other languages. So let's start with an object. We just created a basic object here called myobj. And we've got a name property, we've got a hobbies property that has an array, and we've even got a hello method in there that returns hello to the console. And now we want to check and just kind of refresh what we can do with an object. So we'll say console.log. Let's go ahead and log the whole object to the console. And then let's just go ahead and log set oop I need to type better it's a constant battle just the name property and then let's go ahead and call the hello method we'll save that we look at the console and we have got our object in the console first and then we've got the value of the name property and then we've got hello that is sent by the hello method Let's add one more console log and let's log the type of my object. And it says object in the console as we would expect. Now, if we want to take this object and send it as JSON, I'm going to define a new variable called send JSON because that's what we would plan to do with this. And we call the JSON object, which is a static object in JavaScript, this has a static method, actually, stringify. And we're going to pass in our object as the parameter to stringify. So now our send JSON variable, let's go ahead and log that. It's going to look just a little different. Look at what we get in the console underneath what we already had. And the main comparison is the object that we logged that has a name, hobby property that contains an array and a hello function and you see the little italic f here to indicate function it's the method hello and then of course we log those but let's look at this now this is our send json we've converted our object into json and first of all the name property is inside quotes now our object didn't have the name uh, in quotes at all same for hobbies and there is no hello method whatsoever because JSON does not send functions. So once we convert that over, it's just going to take the key value pairs of the properties and turn those into JSON. And it has discarded the function altogether. So the next thing we can do is go to, whoops, I'm in all caps, console.log. <clears throat> we'll do type of send JSON. And before it was an object. And now you can see it is definitely a string. And if we try to access one of those properties now, I need to keep switching back and forth between all caps. Okay, if we need to access one of those properties now, we've got send JSON dot name like we did with the object, but because this is a string, we can no longer access the properties like that. We have totally converted our object into a JSON formatted string and it doesn't respond like our object did. It, it's no longer a JavaScript object. It's actually string data at this point after we have stringified our object. Now, when we receive JSON from a server, let's say we've requested data. Let's say we receive this send JSON actually. So we'll ca call this receive JSON and it's going to equal json.parse. This is the other static method of the JSON object in JavaScript. And we'll put our send JSON in there. Somebody sent us this JSON now. And so now we will, there I go with the all caps again. Now we'll log 
to the console are receive JSON. And look at that, our receive JSON is an object again. We have parsed the JSON we have received. We received send JSON. And once we parse it, we're storing that in receive JSON. And receive JSON is an object. But look, this object doesn't have the method. We didn't even send the method because we lost it when we converted to JSON in the first place. So we lost the method right here. The object did not send the method in the JSON. But when we received it, it did turn it back into an object. And so now we have an object that has the name property and the hobbies property. And we can log the rest of this as well. And go type of receive JSON. Yes, and it is once again an object, but no method. So what we lose along the way is any method that we have in our object. Other than that, JSON stringify converts our object to a string in the proper data format for JSON. We could send it off to a server or somewhere else and they would know the format coming in. It's a universally shared format, agreed upon, I guess you would say. And then when we receive JSON from a server or, or anywhere else, maybe we've stored some JSON in our local data. Um, when we receive that back, we can parse that string and turn it back into an object. And that's what we did here with our receive JSON variable. And then when we logged the receive JSON variable, it was once again an object, and we confirmed that with the type of. So that is a quick synopsis of what JSON is and how it responds in JavaScript. Hi, I'm Dave, and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Remember to keep striving for daily progress instead of perfection. Subscribe to my channel and ring the bell to be alerted when I post new tutorials. I'll see you next time.